the traders who are involved in the market are not guys whose moral fiber when it comes to environmental conditions are going to be, be rattled at all. They're seeing dollars and they're making money. Brokers don't stay away from copper because it, it violates their religious beliefs or their environmental policies, no. When you think about it, but it's fleeting. <laughs> it really is a fleeting moment. It's like, you know, yeah, oh yeah, well, the town being polluted down there in Peru, but uh, hey, this guy needs to buy some copper. I'm getting paid a commission too. Our information that we receive does not include anything about the environmental conditions. Because un until the environmental conditions become a commodity themselves or are being traded, then obviously we will not have anything to do with that. It doesn't come into our psyche at all. You know, it, it's so far away and it's, it, you hardly hear anything about it. I mean, keep in mind, I mean, there are things going on right in our backyard, for God's sake. We trade live hogs. I mean, there's so many pigs in the state of Carolina and it's polluting the rivers, but how often do you find out about that? At Multinational Monitor, we put together a list of the top corporate criminals of the 1990s 